Hey, God bless you guys. You know, I had this dream that I just put up here and I, I listened to it. I was so excited. I kind of sound like a lunatic. So, you know, I think I'm just going to calm down now, breathe deeply and let the words come out more clearly and precisely. Um, I had this really cool revelation today. Uh, well, I had this dream about six years ago and I never really knew exactly what it meant. So I had this dream where I was holding this lottery ticket and it said 143,000 three times over on the ticket. I didn't know what it meant. I looked up 143 and it means I love you. So I figured that's good, you know. Um, it means I love you in slang apparently on the internet. But today, you know, I typed in 143,000. What does that mean, you know? And it goes to the movie Avengers Endgame, if you type that in. And, uh, you know, I'm not promoting that movie, but I mean, this is where it kind of went to. And Tony Stark in the movie and his niece, I believe, they have like this little phrase that they say to each other. I love you 3,000. And uh, it's like God is saying, you know, this is, this is where I'm leading you to. I love you 3,000. So 143 times 3,000, what does that mean? 143 times 3,000 equals 429,000. And if you divide that into three, it's 143,000 times three, which is the numbers I had on my, on my uh, lottery ticket. And so I'm like, whoa, that's pretty, that's pretty crazy. That's insane. And so, uh, I was, uh, I was thinking like, wow, that's like, that's amazing. Like, it's like God speaking through this movie, but what is the movie called? The movie is called Avengers Endgame. It's like this end game ministry, end game, end game ministry of God. I believe that's what he's referring to. Now, if you look at Revelation, okay, this is crazy too. Revelation 14 verse three, that's one, four, three. It's talking about the 144,000 on the earth. Nobody could sing the song that they learned. They were the first fruits of God that were redeemed from the earth. Nobody else could learn this song, okay? This, these 144,000, I believe they're going to be those who, in, who filled the banquet hall, okay, at the end. You know, when, when all those who were not worthy, that God called, and they weren't worthy, they ended up making a mockery out of his entire ministry, and doing the exact opposite, refusing to get their wedding clothes on. They didn't get ready, they didn't get prepared. He 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 took down their ministries. He took them down. And who did he lift who does he lift up instead? He lifts up the 144,000. And nobody could sing the song that they sang because they went through all this tribulation when the fake church was rising up, crushing them, beating them up. You know, if you look at the church of Philadelphia, what does it say? says, because you persevered, I'm going to make you a pillar in my temple. They're never going to throw you out of there again, okay? I believe the Church of Philadelphia is definitely part of the 144,000. They're the Church of Brotherly Love, okay? So, you know, all this ties together. It's just crazy. You know, the title of the movie, the I Love You 3000 in the movie, and this ticket I got in my dream, 143,000 times 3, how can you even make this stuff up? I couldn't make that up. You know, I didn't sit there in some back room thinking this whole thing, okay, I'm going to have this dream with 143,000. I'm going to somehow make it go with this movie, with this title, and somehow I'm going to have it all equal this whole equation here. No. And and end up with 143 in chapter, you know, in the Revelation that talks about the 144,000. I'm not that smart, okay? I can't think this stuff up. This is only God. God can only think this stuff up. This is so cool. End times ministry, 144,000 rising up in the last days. Good stuff is coming in spite of all the evil that you see in Revelation. There's some good stuff in there too. And it's powerful. And, you, and hey, I mean, I want to be on that team. I know I had this dream, but still, I still got to, I still got to stay in Christ. I still got to believe. I still got to keep doing what Christ has called me to do. And, uh, you know, that's what we all got to do. We, we want to be, we want to be, we want to be there. Okay. I mean, there's not many people listening to God today. There's not many churches listening to God today. There's not many people period listening to God today. They don't even believe their Bibles. Okay. So it's pretty clear. If you look at the world, 
this 8 billion people, but 144,000 is probably the true number of the people that are actually really surrendering to God in these last days. And I'm sure they're going to bring in a harvest because of, because they, because of their ministries in the last days. There's going to be a huge harvest in the last days in spite of the beast system taking over and all the crazy stuff that goes down. This, everybody's going to see the light because 144,000 is singing a new song and nobody can drown them out in spite of all the evil going on. Anyways, that's what I believe is going to happen. And that's a dream I had. I hope it blesses you guys. God bless.